Now here's a box I just got today from Antenna Deals. Now I know you guys are going to be upset with me. A lot of you said I need a packing knife. Well, I'm sorry I'm using a key today. I usually have knives everywhere, but I'm wearing work pants today. But keys work well. So let's see what we have here. There's a TV antenna pole. And a... Oh, wow. This is a remote-controlled HD TV antenna. You see, 360-degree remote rotation. Nice. Dual TV outputs. Surge protection. Adjustable gain control. Built-in super low noise amplifier. 100% free local HD TV. No cable, no dish, no bills. Full HD 1080. Well, if it works in the forest out here, then uh, I'll be impressed. I have a hard time with my Verizon cell phone. And they're one of the best out here for reception. Let's see what we have here. Oh, they've got everything. I don't know where to start. Well, they thought of everything. They even give you the twist ties. Wow. You see, there's your wire. And... Oh, pieces and parts. So I guess that's the antenna. I'll have to look at the book. I guess I have some reading to do tonight. Some little pieces. That must be the indoor control box. Oh wow, there's all kinds of pieces. Well, I guess I have some reading to do tonight. Let's see about putting this all together. Well, I have a whopping 25 watts coming out of 600 watts of solar panels today. It's raining, it's dark, it's gloomy. My volts are down to 12.4, which is not good at all. Oh, uh, this is bad. I'm going to have to shut things down, and it's early morning already. It's just, this is not going to be good. Well, my ceiling sure lets the rain noise in. It's so dark I need light in here. I have to use my lights to see anything. And I'm going to have to shut off my monitor here soon because my power is getting low. And it's supposed to rain for the next five days straight. So I think I'm going to work in the rain on my generator. Well, this is not pretty. My front yard is underwater. I'm happy I have my pallets to keep me off the ground if I did want to go outside, which I don't really right now. Um, living in an off-grid camper in the rain is not nice because usually rainy times is indoor time, but rain means no solar. Which means I sit here in the dark and look at the walls. Well, 
since it's raining and I can't really do any work outside and I do have a lot of work to do out there um, it's supposed to rain the next four days and I figured today is a good time to do indoor work and I'm assembling this HD TV antenna that I got looks like some kind of a spaceship from a movie sort of cool actually but anyway I'm assembling this antenna which although the instructions are simple uh, once I started doing it the assembly is really simple so take advantage of a day indoors and put together my new antenna see if I can get some TV if the Sun ever shines again then uh, it'd be pretty nice this thing I was looking at the box this is quite amazing antennadeals.com sent me this they uh, saw my situation here in the forest and decided to give me this antenna to try out um, absolutely just sent it to me um, to see if it'll help me out here in the forest and I'll tell you what if it works here in the forest then it's a good thing because I'm in the middle of nothingness but this claims to have a hundred and fifty mile range which is pretty awesome that means I can pull stuff out of New York City which is about 89 I think 89 miles away and uh, this is going to be incredible so I'm sort of excited and I hope that I can get outside and assemble this today if uh, if it clears up for a while might be watching some TV Well, there's my antenna. It's getting darker in here again. Hope you can see me. And it's uh, going to be four or five days of rain. But, actually, that looks very much like a spaceship. I think I've watched too many movies growing up. Anyway. See if I can hook this up. Well, my antenna is sitting next to me on the couch. And I have a ton of channels. Whoops. I have to learn how to use this. There's one. There's one. Seems to be I'm picking up a lot of religious right now. It's probably because my antenna is sitting on the couch pointing halfway up at the air right now. But concerns in surrounding neighborhoods. This is high definition digital. This isn't bad. Actually that channel has the clear traffic is carried on a very very clear signal. I'm impressed. This is nice. Looks like I've got Korean Central here. I'm going to have to move the antenna and see what else I can get. But oh, that seems to be it. I've got about 10 good channels right now. And that's just... I'm not even set up yet. This is amazing. I can't wait to get this outside. I got this seed bomb for a couple dollars at Tractor Supply. It was cheap. 
I figured I'd give it a try. It's supposed to have these little clay things full of seeds and you just toss it out during a rainstorm and let it go. And it's supposed to grow her herbs. It has six seed bombs. And I've got my raised bed garden and I've got my seed bombs and I have rain. So I'm going to go out and try these out. See what's in here anyway. There they are. Six clay seed bombs. It says each seed bomb covers one foot of area. I don't see how. They says don't crush, stamp on them, or break them. Just toss them out. So I guess we'll find out. Well, this is certainly a relief. I've got just over 9 amps, 120 watts coming in, even though it's raining. So eventually, even on a uh, rainy day, eventually you do get some power. Uh, that means I can experiment with my TV today and do some stuff. So, oh, that's a relief. Well, my plants are loving it. They're holding up. We've had some heavy rain coming down. Oh, I love green stuff growing. But they're holding up nicely. Perking up. Oops. Problem with this deer net is I can't see it. I keep catching my feet on it. That plant that was wilting and struggling has grown a lot overnight. I'm quite amazed. And actually, if I can see here, I don't know if you can see it, but one of my onions is sprouting already. That is amazingly fast. I can't believe this. I just planted these. This is incredible. And over here, see if I can show it through the net is easier. I've got garlic right here. Actually, here's an opening. The net fell apart on me. I've got garlic growing. Here, here's one. Here's one. Here's one peeking out. I should probably have some onions poking out over here then already. So, looks like it's going to be okay. Now if I can keep these uh, evil vine borers from hurting my plants, I think what I'll do is cover the bases of these with aluminum foil right away. I had vine borers on my um, vine plants a few years back, my last garden I had, and they cause a lot of devastation. And if you wrap aluminum foil around the base of the plants, somehow it keeps them away. Look at that one growing nice. These things are really growing fast. He's expanded too. So this is supposed to be my salad bed. So I'm going to drop in my seed bombs. Let me pour them out here first. I feel odd not planting these. They say just toss them out. And it says it covers six square, each one covers a square foot. Um, so this is supposed to be four, eight, twelve. This is supposed to be about 16 square feet. So I'm going to put these in the middle. Um, what would we have? I should put up the um, strings. The square foot garden has strings all the way around. And now that I'm doing this, actually, in reality, I see that it would be a great help. It would certainly be a good help. So we've got six bombs placed a foot apart. Let me see. About a foot apart. Gives them six inches in each direction for each bomb. Well, let's see what happens. I don't see how that's supposed to work, but I'll give them a chance to grow. It's certainly raining on them. Well, just as I finished putting those seed bombs in, it started pouring on again. 
Oh, what a day. Well, in between spurts of rain, I'm going to run out and try to get work done. At least try to get something done today out there. I've certainly got a lot to do. Well, there's my garden so far. This is how it's going to be. There's going to be six in a row and two rows for now. I managed to get in another raised bed today. Um, although it was raining, I just put on a raincoat and a hat and came out and did it. I broke apart the pallet, shoveled it full, and uh, just keep on going. The plants are looking good now. They really like this soil, I think. I uh, notice a difference in their size. So I think it's going to work out well. Just have to do four more, five more pal uh, beds here, and I'll be pretty much done. <laughs> 